Hello, I'm going to tell you about density. Density equals mass divided by volume. If I'm going to get the volume of an irregular shaped object, or even a regular shaped one, I can use a displacement canister. If I fill this can up with water up to this spout, then all I've got to do is pop a rock in there and whatever water comes out, catch it in the measuring cylinder and the volume of the water that came out was the same as the volume of the stone that I popped in. Right, that's the displacement canister full. I'll just let it stop wobbling all over, come to a rest, catch the dribbles. Now I don't want a zero error, I want to make sure I'm starting on zero. So I'm going to get rid of that excess water before I pop my stone in. Hurry up, stop dripping. It's still dripping. Drip, drip. So I'll empty this. So now that is empty, it's got a lot of graduations on it. Here is my irregularly shaped object. So if I gently pop this in here, the amount of water that it displaces equals the volume of this object. See the water coming out there now. I'll just let that finish dribbling in the measuring cylinder. Drip, drip, drip. And that'll be my volume. So all I would need to do now is to get the mass. And I'll just simply use a mass top pan balance in order to get the mass. Then I would do mass divided by volume. That'll work out the density. Easy. And that is one of the core practicals that you must do. You must prove to the examiner that you've done that and you understand how to get the density of an object. And there we have it. 18 millilitres. That's one millilitre equals one centimetre cubed. So that's 18 centimetres cubed. So density is mass divided by volume. This is the irregular shaped object. Fill the water up in the displacement canister to the spout. Then drop the object into the water. The water will rise. The water will come out the spout. You simply catch the water in the measuring cylinder and that is the volume of the irregular shape object. To get the mass of the object, just put it on the mass top pan balance. If you've got a regular shape object, just do the length times by the depth times by the height. In order to get the volume, just measure that with the ruler. And do the same calculation. To get the mass of the regular shaped object on the mass top pan balance, just like the other. Sometimes a regular shape is called a uniformly shaped object. And that's how to take care of business with that. Thank you. Drip, drip, drip. Still dripping. Ugh.